believe it's already time for the Winter Festival. Hey. I'm still thawing up from last year. What, what's the Winter Festival? Oh, it's a big party that the town puts on every year to celebrate the joys of winter. It's a diversion to keep people's minds off how cold they are. Don't listen to him. It's fun. There's food and games and... And sledding. And snowball fights. And at the end of the festival, there's hot cider and an evening sleigh ride. What's the father and son cross-country ski challenge? It's a race. Fathers team up with their sons and race around town. Sounds like fun. It is. Especially when you've won three years in a row. It's a new year, Cade. Maybe your streak will come to an end. Sure, Mio. You said that last year, and what happened? You ended up face down in a snowbank. <laughs> there you go, boys. Who's that? It's Cade Mulroney. Goes to Peter Skill Academy. A bunch of spoiled rich kids. They think they're better than us. Yeah, just because they're rich and smart. Beat us at everything. Now, boys, this race is not about winning. It's about having fun and being with your loved ones. If you happen to beat the boys at Peterskill in the meantime, that's just icing on the cake. Wish I could join the race, but it's only for father and sons, right? Well, I could be your father, Dan. Really? Is that legal? Well, sure it is. I mean, Lori is your sponsor at Plumfield. I don't see why he can't be your father for the day. <laughs> that's great. Thanks. Nick, do you think you could be my father in the father-son race? Father-son race? Yeah, it's a cross-country ski race at the Winter Festival. Sure. Thanks, Nick. I mean, with you and me on a team, there's no way we could lose. Huh, except for me and Lori. Or me and my dad. All right, boys, that's enough bragging. Head inside and start unpacking. Nick and I are going to be here for a chance. That's nice of you. Yeah, I just don't want to let him down is all. Don't worry about that. It's just for fun. You don't have to win the race. Oh, I'm sure we won't. Never put on a pair of skis in my life. I'd be lucky if I'm even standing at the end of it. We'll have to do something about that then, won't we? Not a word of this to the kids. Don't worry, it'll be our little secret. Okay, you ready? Suppose I'd better be. All right. Now you push off with your right foot, and at the same time, you take your left hand and push off with the left pole. So it's opposite, okay? And then you do the same thing with the opposite side. Ready? Right foot, left pole. There you go. That's it. There you go. Good! Good! You got it! Oh! oh. Okay, um, everybody falls when they're just beginning. In fact, some people even fall when they're not beginning. Here, okay. Ready? One, two, three, up! Oh! Ah! Sorry. Sorry. Right. You know, put me on a ship in 40 foot waves, I can walk a straight line. But skis, that's something I ain't been around much. If you can get your balance at sea. I'm sure you can master this. All right. One more time. Come on. Up. Here we go. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, good. Okay. Whew. It just might take some time. The race is in two weeks. No problem. Hey, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Starts here in town. He's out through the woods and back. Now there's two laps. The father does the first and the son does the second. And the trick is not to go too fast on the final turn into town because it gets really icy. I'll remember that. Listen, you kids stay here. I gotta go in and pick up that material Mrs. Joe ordered for the quilting contest. Okay. Boys get to race and girls get to enter the mother daughter quilting contest. What are you so mad about? I mean, Miss Jo said she'd enter with you. I don't want to make a quilt, Nat. I want to race like you. Just be glad you're not. It'll save you the embarrassment of losing to me. You're entering the race? That's right. <laughs> Why bother? She'd have a better chance of winning than you. Well, anyone would have a better chance of winning than you. I'll have you know I've won this race for the past three years. That's just because I wasn't in it. But you won't be in it this year either, seeing that girls aren't allowed. If I were you, I'd steer clear of the race as well. I'm not good at avoiding little kids when they fall. Wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. Hey! I'm not gonna fall. I don't know. You can get pretty rough out there. Think you're tough enough? Huh? Come on. Show me how tough you are. Come on. Leave him alone. Enjoy making your quilt. Both of you. He's got a girl protecting him. Well, I'll make a really big quilt so I can bury you in it. Let's see. Sissy's girlfriend. Yeah. See at the finish line. What is wrong with you? What? You're just gonna let him push you around like that? Here you go, Nan. Go make a nice quilt. Oh, yes. Lovely. You all right, Nah? Yeah, sure. You ain't said a word since we got back from town. Something on your mind? Nick, did you always know how to fight, or did you have to learn? Ah, some of it I learned. Most of it I just... Picked up along the way. Did you get many fights when you were a kid? Some. No more than most boys. You see? Now that's my problem. I've never been in a fight. Never? No, never. Back in Boston, Dan and Jasper used to do the fighting for us. And when they weren't around, I usually just stayed out of trouble. Well, nothing wrong with staying out of trouble, Nat. You're right. But what about when someone tries to pick a fight with you? They push you, they call you names. What do you do? You fight back. That's what you do. You stand up for yourself, but I never do. Guys like Cade start making fun of me, and I don't do anything. You know, it's bad enough when Dan stands up for me, but now I've got Nan trying to stand up for me, too. How about I teach you how to fight? Really? You do that? Miss Joe doesn't allow fighting at Plumfield. Oh, we won't be fighting. I'll just be showing you how to defend yourself. Yeah, sure. Still, probably better she don't find out about it, all right? Okay. It'll be our little secret. All right. Hello, Nan. Hey, Franz, can, can I ask you a question? Sure. You know when you first started to teach at the school and everybody thought you were too young and inexperienced? H how did that make you feel? Well, I, I was nervous You wanted first. to teach, right? Yeah. Well, of course you did. You wanted to teach real bad, but people didn't let you. Like there was some stupid rule saying that you couldn't do it. It made you mad because 
People didn't want to give you the chance to show that you could do it. What's this about, Nan? Well, I, w I want you to be my father. Excuse me? In the father-son skiing race in the Winter Festival. My father can't make it, and I was kind of hoping that you'd take his place. Well, I don't think that's possible, Nan. Well, of course it is. Lori's being Dan's father, and Nick and Nat are pairing up. That's fine, but it leaves you with one small problem. You're not a boy. Well, you can leave that one up to me. All right, whenever you're ready, give it a shot. Oh! You moved it, Nick. Of course I did. And you're fighting somebody, he ain't gonna hold still for you either. And you're winding up, tipping me when you're gonna throw. Punch fast. Jab and recover. Remember, the other guy's gonna be punching right back at you. So keep your guard up. Be ready for it. Good. Hey. And never, ever take your eyes off your opponent. And if he takes his eyes off of you, that's when you deliver. All right. All right. Let's give another shot. Now, see, you lost your balance. Watch your stance. Get your feet square under you. Bend at the knees. The key to winning is keeping your balance. Exactly. But remember, you don't actually have to win the race. It's having fun that's important. Right. Fun. Yeah, we're, we're having lots of fun. Lots. Good. <sighs> Nick, it's 3 o'clock. I was helping you with. Oh, the thing. Uh, why don't you get going, finish up your chores, and we'll talk later. Sure, Nick. See you, Miss Joe. Bye, Nat. You know, I'm still real sore from yesterday. Oh, I know, but don't worry. Every day will get easier. Trust me. Uh, 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 this ain't gonna work. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. Listen, this isn't going to work unless you approach it with the right attitude. The reason you can't do it is because you don't think you can. Or maybe you don't want to. What? Nat is so thrilled that you're participating in this race with him. Whether you finish first or last or fall on your face at the starting line, it doesn't matter to him. You know that. What you're doing for him is wonderful. He'll be so proud to have you as his father. Father. All right, let's try it again. Again. You're tipping me. I know when you're gonna punch. I can't do it. Sure you can. No, I'm not getting it. It's just a waste of time. Nat, the only reason you can't do it is because you don't think you can. The trick is believing it, knowing you can do it. You get that confidence in you, and the rest is easy. Now, come on, try it again. 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 Again, come on, fast. I, I did it. I hit your hand. Sure did. Now do it again. Same way. Push off with the opposite side. That's it. That's perfect. It's getting easier, isn't it? Yep. Okay, now push a little harder. Pick up some speed. I'm still standing. I can see that. Look out for the tree. Uh, go left. Uh, Nick, go left. Oh. I... <sighs> I'm getting it.
All right, Nat, good. You can stop now. Nat, take a break. <sighs> Punching real good. My hands are stinging. Really? You mean I'm hitting you hurt? Real hard. And your form's looking good, too. You're keeping your weight balanced. You keep this up, nobody's gonna want to tangle with you. That boy Cade's gonna be on the ground before he knows what hit him. You know, Nick, um, I really appreciate you doing this for me. I didn't do much of anything. You always had it inside of you. I just helped you find it is all. Um, can I go again? Sure. I think I'm gonna need to get me some pads for my hands. It's starting to swell up. Nan, what are you doing? You'll see. I told you, it's a surprise. I can hardly wait. Is anybody coming? No, not yet, anyway. All right. I'm almost ready. You ready? Yes. All right, here I come. Well, what do you think? Where'd you get those pants? Oh, well, they're nats. They're a little bit baggy, but I've got this belt to hold them up. Do you think I could pass for a boy? Well, I'd have to say yes. Well, then you better start practicing your skiing, because we're going to win this race. Man, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't look old enough to be your father. I already thought about that. Here, put this on. What is it? A fake mustache. Ned, if we get caught... If we get caught, then we'll get disqualified. But at least we tried. And besides, we're not going to get caught. Because neither me or you are going to tell anybody. Are we? <laughs> It'll be our little secret. Clear. I'm gonna make a run for the flag. All right. They start firing. Crawl back as fast as you can. We'll cover you. Right. All right. Down three. One, two, three. Oh, Dad. He's making a run for it. Go on. 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 Nice <laughs> Shut up, Tommy. Get off! Nice one, Nan. Oops, sorry. Come on! Let's go! Yeah. Oh, get her. There's only well, two of us left. Come on, Come on Dad. Let's go! Come on, hit him! Get her, Nat! Get him! Uh, we're getting low on snowballs. Right. We'll make some more. It's really quiet over there. Maybe too quiet. It probably out of snowballs. Maybe. Or it might be a trick. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt, what are you doing? He's making a run for it. Hey, there he goes. Run now. He's making a run for it. Go! Almost done here, Nat. Just making some pads. Pads? Uh, yeah. For our skiing lessons. Uh, make it easier for when I fall. I don't think you'll be falling anymore, Nick. You've really improved. I think you'll finish the race on your feet. You want to hear something amazing? Ever since you agreed to be Nat's father in the race, 
His confidence has soared. I heard that he captured the flag in the snowball fight today. <laughs> and just now, Emil tried to take his scarf. Matt demanded that he give it back, and he did. Emil backed down. <laughs> All these years. Matt's been yearning for a father's influence. I'm just playing the part, Joe. I mean, I like to think of myself as a friend of these boys, but I won't go calling myself much of a father. I would. Over there is the icy part, where everyone always slides around. Yeah, like you. <laughs> <laughs> this year, I'm going to get a big lead at the beginning. So I won't have to rush later on. You can't get a big lead unless you pass me and me. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Actually, a big lead is a big mistake. Is that a fact? Yes. It's better to stay back and see what you're up against. Let them work hard. By the end of the race, when they're still huffing and puffing, you're fresh and ready to fly past them. We'll keep that in mind, then. <laughs> If you guys want to lose the race, it's fine by me. Look. Look who it is. Come to watch me ski? You just may learn something. That guy talks too much. Somebody has to shut him up. Yeah. What's he doing? The only person that's going to learn something here, Cade, is you. Is that so? Well, who's going to teach me, you? That's right. You always want how tough I am? I'm ready to show you. You are, huh? <laughs> what, do you want to fight? That's right. Yeah, Dance day out of this. Come on. Some other time. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Do it. Come on. Come on. Come on then. Come on. This is enough. Dan, leave me alone. Come on. Come on. Nah, what are you nah, doing? Stop. Let him be, Nat. <coughs> Nat, are you all right? Nat? Nat? Come on, Nat. Oh, my God. Nat. Go get help! Go get the doctor! Go! What's going on here? He hit his head. Come on, Nat. His pulse is weak and rapid. His breathing is shallow. I'm afraid he's lapsed into a coma. We won't be able to accurately assess the amount of damage until he wakes up. When will that be? I don't know. He's sustained a severe blow. And we should prepare ourselves for the possibility that he may not wake up. Is there anything we can do? Mm hmm Keep his head raised at all times. A cap of ice, water, and vinegar might further reduce the swelling. I'll get it. You can also apply fever blisters to the back of his head. Other than that, I'm afraid all we can do is wait. Um, when you're with him, it might not be a bad idea to speak to him. I have seen in the past how a familiar voice can have a great impact on bringing someone back from a coma. 
see myself out. How's not doing? Asia's with him now. I think we should all take turns sitting with him. Yeah. That'd be good, Miss Joe. I'd like to go into town tomorrow, speak to the parents of the boy who hit him. Maybe even the sheriff. We can't let this assault go unpunished. Mrs. Joe. That started the fight. What? I know. It's hard to believe, and we didn't believe it either. But Katie, he didn't want to fight. He tried to walk away. And that threw the first punch. That's when Kate fought back. Why would he do such a thing? I don't know. Kate was picking on him a few days ago. But it's not like that to pick a fight. Joe? Last few days, I've been teaching Nat how to fight. What? I know, I, I should have told you. You've been teaching Nat how to fight? That other boy had been pushing him around, and Nat was upset that he didn't know how to defend himself, so I, I thought I'd show him. You know how I feel about fighting. I know, but Nat came to me. He wanted to learn, and I don't think there's anything wrong with somebody knowing how to fight to defend themselves. No. But did you bother teaching him when not to fight? I didn't think he'd actually go pick a fight with the boy. I cannot believe you would do such a thing. I was just trying to help him. Really? Well, why don't you go upstairs and look at him, and then you can see how much you've helped him. For several days after leaving Nantucket, nothing above hatches was seen of Captain Ahab. Never thought I'd actually be reading to you, huh? The mates regularly relieved each other like at the watches. Here. There she blows. There she blows. A hump like a snow hill. White it's Moby Dick. Himself into furious speed, almost in an instant, as it were. Rushing among the boats with open jaws and a lashing tail offered appalling battle on every side. The heedless of the iron star. Mind if I sit with him? Sure. <sighs> you know, I'm not so good at reading yet, so. I just sit here and talk with you for a while. That's all right with you. Not so good at talking either. Look. I shouldn't have been teaching you how to fight. I should have been teaching you how to avoid fights. But you already knew how to do that, didn't you? You were doing just fine until I came along. And... I'm sorry, Nat. Bring him along very.
very gently make sure that he does not risk hurt himself. He has been through quite a trauma. I see you. Thank you, Doctor. Well, how's he doing? He's doing better. Finished. Do you want some more? No, thanks. All right, then. Why don't we let him rest? The doctor says he shouldn't overexert himself. Sure. It's good to see you back. Are you sure? Yeah, worry. Are you warm enough? Yes, I am. Mrs. Joe? I'm sorry for fighting. How long will I have to stay in bed? A week or so. But I'll miss the father and son race. Oh, I'm afraid you'll have to sit this one out. You're gonna need plenty of time to heal. Tell Nick I'm sorry. I know you didn't mean for this to happen. And I do believe you when you say that you were trying to help him. But Nick, he is still a young boy. You don't realize the impact you have on him, on all the children. They look up to you. They hang on your every word. Watch your every move, trying to be like you. I never asked him to look at me that way. Well, they do, Nick, and... Well, they shouldn't. Look, maybe... I should just step back, do my job, and not get involved with them so much. It's too late for that. You already are involved. Whether you like it or not, you're a father figure to them. There are so many wonderful things about being a father, Nick. You were nervous about skiing. But I could see the pride in your eyes when Nat asked you to be in the race with him. But with being a father also comes a great deal of responsibility. And I guess the question that you're left with is do you want to accept that responsibility? I don't know if I can. And you'd only be hurting them more by staying. Beth, don't cover my eyes. Oh, sorry. So why do I have to wear this many scarves? Dr. Pierce said that you can only go to the festival if we keep you warm. I recommend we put a blanket on him. Good idea. Well, the wagon's hitched. You all set? Yes. <sighs> Nat, is that you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you look warm. <laughs> Where's Nick? Um, Nick's not going to be coming to the festival. But we are. And we're going to have a wonderful time.
Nah, you want to try it? You're next? No. Oh, try it. So, Joe, what do you think? I pick the colors. Isn't it gorgeous? It's lovely. The colors are lovely, Bess. The stitching, that's what catches the judge's eye. That's why Daisy and I spend so much of our time on the intricacy of our design. Yours is nice, too, Meg. Well, we'll just have to let the judge decide, won't we? Where's your quilt, Joe? Thought you and Nan were going to make one. Oh, Nan didn't want to participate. Oh, where is Nan, anyways? I don't know. I haven't seen her since we came into town. Folks, can I have your attention? It's time for the father-son ski challenge, so all participants make your way to the starting line. Well, it's my cue. <laughs> Try not to hurt yourself. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> Good luck, Mark. Bye. Finally, they just called for the race. Franz, your mustache. Why don't you just pull this down a little tighter so it won't blow off during the race? Thanks, Asia. And you might want to fix your mustache. <laughs> Go on, both of you. Go ahead. Thanks. And have a good time. Ooh. Just about ready. Skiers to the starting line. Asia, sit here. Matt, yeah. come sit by me. Ooh, hot cider. Mm. Mm. Warm enough? Yeah. Okay. Mm. My uncle couldn't make it. He sent his butler in his place. I'm sure he'll do fine. Go on now. Good luck. <laughs> hey, Emil, I saw your father. He'll be lucky if he even finishes the race. Mm. If I join you? Nick! Nick! You're here. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Skiers, take your mark! All right. Let's go, Mr. Lori. Set. Go. Go, Mr. Lloyd. Come on. Is that Franz? You got me.
I'm not waiting any longer. You know I beat you. You can remember that every time you look at that ribbon. Give it to her. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nat. Nat? Can't take it. Of course you can. You would have beat me anyways. Well, no, you wouldn't have, but I want you to have it. Thanks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's three o'clock. Three o'clock, our skiing lesson. Figure I got a whole year to practice up for next year's race. Me and Nat are gonna win it, just you watch. Are you sure you're ready for this? Probably slip up again. Hit the snow a few more times, but... I'm gonna keep at it. Keep trying till I learn to find my balance. Will you help me? Of course. 